Hey everybody, great to have you back with us today on this episode of VNJ Reviews. As always, this is Vin. And this is Joe. So what are we going to do on this one? Well, we're finally going to approach it. Who is the evildoer who attacked Jiren's family? We have some really, really interesting thoughts for you guys. You're going to want to see this. So, I just want to say up front on this one, we, of course, don't know who really actually attacked Jiren's family. What our goal on this episode is, is to give you what we think are the most interesting and intriguing ideas of what or who it could be, and probably give you the most realistic idea right up front. But it's not always the most realistic idea that's true, but Joe and I sat down, we thought about it, and we came up with three other ideas that we think are kind of fun and kind of interesting. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys right up front on this one. I have not seen a single episode from another reviewer on YouTube about who the person could be who the evildoer is. I have not myself watched anyone else's. I'm not saying that they don't exist. I mean, I'm sure they're everywhere. I have not viewed any. So all of the things that I've come up with on my own are just my thoughts in my head. If it's the same as somebody else or somebody else has already made these statements, then it's it's a coincidence. I have not seen it anywhere. Uh, I just d- I don't have the I mean, I do have the time maybe to watch these, you know, all these reviews and stuff, but I just don't. So all of this is is on my uh, out of my own head, and I think Joe, you maybe saw one. I, yeah, I saw one uh, where it was talking about how Goku Black will not be the one who is the per- evil doer because a lot of people were thinking Goku Black because of the shaded image that sort of looked like what he l- looked like before. Um, so that's the only thing I've saw. About and we're it. we're actually not even going to bring up Goku Black at all. No. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah. So in that in that situation. So we just want to let you guys know up front where we're coming from. So we figured we'd probably bring to you guys what probably is maybe the most obvious and perhaps the correct option of all, but also the most bland one. So this scenario is that it's someone we just don't know yet. It's a character that hasn't been actually revealed. It's just a totally um, new character. And he attacked Jiren's family. And basically, there's only two situations that has currently happened with this person. Either Jiren has already killed this guy, and he's seeking um, more power, or be, like he said, beyond power. Or Jiren hasn't killed this guy yet, and once again, he's seeking more power to be able to kill him. Um, and this is pretty much like the most boring one of them, but... It's probably also the most likely that we found. So that's why it's first on our list here that we're telling you um, that it's just someone we don't know. Now, if they do go with this option, I kind of like the direction of Jiren did not kill this individual yet. Because that opens up possibilities that maybe Jiren needs help. And maybe a part of Jiren's storyline is that he's seeking others who are stronger than he is. Because he knows he can't do it as powerful as as he is. And maybe Goku will be a part of that. And perhaps Vegeta as well, although he was able to defeat Vegeta. So Vegeta not right now. But that would be more intriguing to me than Jiren already defeated it. So it's a person we don't know, and Jiren already defeated them. Okay, so now it's over. But if Jiren couldn't defeat them yet, that's really interesting. How does that all work out? So as far as the first one, that would be the most interesting of that. Now we're going to get into the three that are really unique. All right, perhaps the evildoer that attacked Jiren's family and his friends later on is actually a part of Jiren's family. So it's another family member. Maybe Jiren's brother or sister. So maybe an older brother or an older sister. Or maybe Jiren's... Some other person in Jiren's family that wasn't killed, obviously. And that family member is who Jiren's going after. And that might you know, be plausible in the idea that Jiren, obviously, his race 
can get extremely powerful. So maybe there was another who is like Jiren in his own family who was able to get just as powerful, if not more powerful than Jiren, and they attacked their own family for some reason. Maybe there was a motive behind it. We don't know what that motive is. And Jiren is now faced with a rogue family member, a brother or sister, somebody who has killed his own family and has killed his friends, and we don't know why. That would be an interesting idea. Now, this is actually 100% taken from Naruto because we know, like I said before, Sasuke Uchiha and his brother Itachi. This is almost exactly what happened there. So, I mean, obviously this would be sort of played out, but, I mean, this is anime, so they do a lot of, uh, of the same things here. So, in some ways, I know a lot of people wouldn't like this direction because it'd be like, well, you're just copying Naruto then. Um, that's true, but I mean, it is something that they might actually go with. So the third one on our list is by far one of the most interesting, and there might be some reasons why this one should actually be the one. You ready for this? Future Jiren destroyed his own family. There's some reasons why this makes sense. First off, who survived the attack on Jiren's family? Jiren survived the attack on Jiren's family. Who survived the attack on Jiren's friends? Jiren survived them. So we're not taking the uh, the idea that Jiren himself killed these people, but Jiren's future self killed all of these people. And Jiren obviously let himself survive these attacks. He didn't kill himself. And Jiren's future self would be powerful enough to do this and more powerful than Jiren himself when he's younger. The question then becomes, why would there be a future Jiren and what would be the reason for him to do this? Well, here is a plausible idea. Perhaps, think about this, the tournament of power already went down in some previous universe, right? And Jiren already lost to Goku. And this sent him spiraling out because strength is everything to him. And up until that point, nobody has been stronger than him. And Goku became the person who was stronger than him. And so then as Jiren got older, he got like this schizophrenic, like, like horrible mental issues and just angst against this guy Goku and he found a way to go back in time and he figured the only way that I'm going to get stronger is if I force myself to get stronger if I give myself my younger self a catalyst to get stronger and so he felt like that catalyst would be to destroy his own family so he does that in front of his younger self's face so that his younger self would now have this drive to get stronger And what happened is, is that still wasn't enough to make Jiren strong enough to beat Goku in perhaps another arc or another universe or timeline. That's the word I need. Timeline. In a different timeline, that wasn't strong enough for Jiren to do it. So that he came back again and defeated his friends in front of Jiren to push Jiren even further. So that uh, Jiren would be at a point where he was mentally and physically ready to take out Goku. And that is the Jiren we see today. The Jiren who has been motivated by the death of his family. The Jiren who has been motivated by the death of his friends at the hands of his own future self so that he would become more powerful than anybody including Goku however is he gonna be powerful enough to be ultra instant Goku mastered ultra instant Goku still not that powerful what's gonna happen with that what's gonna happen with future Jiren when he realizes that even this wasn't enough to do it is there something that can show up and continue on after this does future Jiren take on Master Ultra Instant Goku are we going to see that happen next after he realizes he still wasn't able to do it and he says you know what the only way to get this done is for me to do it myself right now and that would be interesting that's totally crazy kind of too but man I think there's some plausibility behind that so I know many of you are thinking out there this is absolutely crazy and I have to tell you, yes, I think it's also pretty insane, like, the idea behind this. But it's also pretty cool. I mean, if they actually went this far. I mean, one thing Dragon Ball Super likes to do and Dragon Ball Z is do a lot of stuff with time travel. 
Um, I mean, we've seen it happen quite a few times. So, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time we see something like this happen. And we, we would find it pretty interesting if Jiren was doing this against himself somehow. So, that was pretty cool. Um, the only other question would be is how would Jiren not know it was himself that was attacking? I mean unless if he was like doing some other stuff so there is some questions in there or maybe Jiren does know it's himself and that has something to do with his wish maybe maybe so anyway we're going I'm going to go into the uh, next one and that would be that we think maybe it was a god of destruction that took out uh Jiren's family maybe a previous god of destruction before Belmont because we know that there is other gods of destructions and people take over their positions. So what happens to the other gods of destructions? Maybe there was one out there that wants to get revenge on everything and are attacking people and it just so happens that Jiren's family was one of the people getting attacked. Or it could be maybe even a god of destruction from another universe attacking universe 11 at some point. I mean, we don't know the history of all the gods of destruction, so something like that maybe have happened. We will have to find out more about that in different arcs. So we're thinking it was somebody powerful enough to to uh, do this and that Jiren need to get this strong in order to fight them and a god of destruction sort of makes sense to us. And that would be kind of interesting if Jiren defeated the previous god of destruction of Universe 11 and it's not Belmont. So maybe there was another god of destruction and this is what they do. They go around destroying people and destroying things and, and planets and, and even galaxies for particular reasons and maybe this god of destruction had a reason to destroy Jiren's family. We don't know what the reason is but maybe they had a reason for it. And Jiren was able to rise to a level of power where he was able to destroy the god of destruction after of course he destroys his family and then his friends and then once Jiren destroyed the god of destruction of his own universe another god of destruction had to be chosen and that was Belmod and so now of course Belmod and Jiren have sparred each other and Jiren has basically said hey you're going to humble yourself before me. I will also destroy you if need be. And that's why we know that Jiren can defeat Belmont. But we're not taking the the idea that it was Belmont who did it. We don't think that that makes as much sense. I mean, obviously that's possible, I guess. Some people are already putting that out there, I think. Um, but we're saying maybe another God of Destruction and perhaps a God of Destruction maybe from another universe. We know that these Gods of Destruction, you know, have plans to usurp other universes and stuff. We've seen that when Sidra came up with a plan of using his own uh, energy orb to basically try to take out uh, Frieza from Universe 7. And and obviously he was able to... And he tried to take out Goku too. So, you know, we saw that happen. And uh, so we know that there might be some times in the past where maybe Gods of Destruction have plans against other universes. So maybe that's a part of it too. So now I just want to go through some honorable mentions that we sort of thought of quickly that also could be possibilities, which was the whole thing is actually Jiren, where it's like almost like the Goku idea where he turns into a great ape, but doesn't remember what he did. Um, sort of how he killed Grandpa Gohan, but doesn't even know that. So Jiren has some type of thing where he doesn't remember what he did, and he's the one who killed his uh, family, and he's the one who killed his friends, and he doesn't even know it. Um, so that was one possibility. Um, another possibility was some people th think uh, Boo. Um, somehow because he can go through dimensions. So he's the one who destroyed Jiren's family. Um, obviously, Belmont was in our thoughts, but Belmont just doesn't make sense because we feel like Jiren would have killed him by now if that was the situation. And obviously, like we said before, we threw out Goku Black or Zamatsu, which I know it has been brought up a lot as well. So those were like the honorable mentions, just in case if you were thinking some other stuff. But I mean, you guys out there come up with great ideas so I'm going to keep an eye on your comments because I think you guys are going to put some pretty good ones out there because I love seeing your comments and your creativity and where you guys come up with these ideas because you guys come up with really cool ideas and you actually back them up a lot of times with like ideas of how Dragon Ball works so I'll be very excited to see what you guys come up with. So with that said what do you think? Leave your comment below. Do you agree with any of these? Um, I mean, obviously, the most obvious one is that it's someone we don't know, and Jiren already beat them. The second one is someone we don't know, and Jiren hasn't beat them yet. And then going down, Jiren's family member, a brother or sister. 
Uh, future Jiren, did you guys like that one? Tell me your thoughts on that below. Or maybe another God of Destruction or one of the honorable mentions that Joe gave. So go ahead, put those thoughts below your comments. And as always, like the video, push the thumbs up on this one, and subscribe if you haven't as of yet. We will be coming out with some really good videos, especially after Super Ends. I'm excited for some of these videos. We just can't do them now, but when Super Ends, that gives us some time to sit back and put a little bit more effort into some bigger episodes where we where we look at some holistic things of how did Super go down what worked, what didn't, and some chart additions as well. So you're going to want to be subscribed for those things. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is Vin. And this is Joe. We will, of course, check you guys out next time.